Three, two, one. Hi everyone, it's Scott with Dearly Departed Online and I'm here with another unboxing video. I was sort of surprised that this one uh, crept up on me as quickly as it did because uh, the other one I did was not that long ago but all of a sudden all these things showed up and some of these things are things that I know I ordered on eBay. Some of them I know are gifts from friends and some of them are things I have no idea what they are. So let's crack on. Uh, let's see. I'll start with this one. This one comes from... Oh, I think this one came from Australia. And uh, yes, this came from Australia. Not sure what this is. Paint samples. Paint samples. Neutrals. I think that's racist. Oh, God, thank you from Australia. Okay, this is a, ba a matchbook that I, uh, that I wanted, that I bought off eBay. Fairly cheap, too. And for Googie's uh, Restaurant. And Googie's was a uh, diner. Uh, right by Schwab's Drugstore on Sunset Boulevard, where, you know, James Dean used to hang out and Eartha Kitt and Martin Landau and all those people, Shelley Winters, and then Googie's closed and everyone went to Theodore's, which was down Santa Monica Boulevard, which ultimately became the Silver Spoon, which was my old drinking hole. And, uh, but Googie's, that was a really cool looking restaurant. And of course, that's destroyed now. And this is a matchbook from Googie's. Very cool. So that's an eBay purchase, so I don't have to thank anybody for that. Now, I do know this is from my buddy Jordan, as in Jordan the Lion. And, uh, and he wrote me and asked me if I wanted these things. And uh, I, I did sharpen this. I sharpened this, this blade uh, a little while ago. And, but it doesn't do well in this plastic bubble wrap. And Troy is here to watch me slip my hand open this time. <laughs> oh my god. I can't tell you about the carpet, the box cutter and the carpet. Oh my god, that was bad. So um yeah, Jordan, thank you. He gave me these. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood magazines. And Mad Magazine, which was a tribute. Actually, I think think they sold this for a little while too, but this is from, you know, obviously Rick Dalton, the character that Leonardo DiCaprio was playing in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And these were uh, I think these were given out when it first opened too to people at the theater. So um it's pretty cool. And Jordan said, Do you want them? I'm like, hell yeah. It goes well with my uh with my Once Upon a Time in Hollywood collection. Look at that, Jay Sebring. I just met a guy that lives here where I live that used to work with Jay, and I can't wait to talk to him again. He was so interesting, and uh, and he knew Jay really well, and and uh, it was pretty pretty neat to talk to him. So, um, what else is in there? Oh, <laughs> I forgot I left this over at his house. <laughs> <laughs> when I was we were crossing across we were driving across the country, I, I was like, I brought that with me, but I knew I wouldn't be able to get by on the airplane with it. So I left it there and he had to send it to me. So thanks Jordan for that. Very cool. Googies, knife, and Leo. Alright, so this one, I'm not sure. This is something. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think this is a we'll see. Oh my God, how cool is this? Oh, right. Look at that. This is a guy by the name of Bob who reached out to me and said, I have something weird from Laughin you might want since you collect Laughin. And this is some bizarre tape. I've never seen one of these before. It's like a precursor to it. It's the tape, the, the, the tape is thicker than, or smaller than cassette tape was. Original cast album, play tape. Uh, this is something I got to look into. Wow. Uh, Bob, I mean, this is really cool. Thank you. This is wild. And uh, it'll, uh, one day I'll, I'll show all of my uh, laughing memorabilia, which I have a ton of. 1969, original cast album. I, I don't even know what this thing is. What kind of tape that is? It says play tape. 
pretty cool. Thanks, Bob. Very much. That is, that's wild. Huh. Very, very cool. I will do more research on that one. Uh, let's see. This, oh, this is very complicated. Very complicated. I think I'll just, and I can't rip it. Well, I can rip this side and make sure there's nothing, you know. Oh, more Rick Dalton. That's pretty cool. What does this say? Oh, this is somebody nice. Lewis sent this to me. And, uh, isn't that interesting? Closing February 29th. They chose that. They actually would have had to have been shut down like two weeks later legally. Leave sure. that shortly. Now, I don't know what this is. That is, uh, that's really cool. That's very, very cool. This must be eBay. They always reuse envelopes on eBay. Oh, man. I'm blowing off this. How cool is that? And I think I bought these because... Hamburger Hamlet. That's what it was. That's what I wanted. Well, the um, Beverly Hills, Palm Springs, D.C., Maryland, Chicago, Atlanta. And this is where I met Dean Martin. And I did a... In fact, one of my matchbook videos I'm doing is going to be Hamburger Hamlet. And uh, I'll put that in there. So thank you. Well, I don't have to thank you because I bought it from you. But... Um, these are cool, so thank you for making them available. Bobby McGee's Conglomeration King Edward Cigars Denali's Seafood Restaurants Newport Beach da -de -da. But Hamburger Hamlet, so that's pretty cool. Oh, oh no, 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 he did send that to me. That's a gift, here I am. Here's a, uh, it's Gary. Gary sent this. I, I apologize, Gary. <laughs> These are very cool. And I know that's why, uh, that's what it was. You wanted, uh, and he wanted the death egg sticker, and he sent these as a gift. So, <laughs> I didn't mean that about the, <laughs> about the envelope. <laughs> but, Gary, thank you so much. You wanted the sticker, but I thought you sent some matchbook, especially the Hamburger Hamlet. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. And um, <laughs> I appreciate it. I hope you're not insulted. Uh, you shouldn't be. That's that's pretty cool. So, very cool. Very very cool. Now what's this? Uh, not sure where it came from. But for you guys uh, that are wondering, or the Death Egg stickers, you know, Death Egg stickers are free. All you have to do is send a stamped, self-addressed envelope to me, and you can get one. And uh, I will. Uh, I'll give you the address. Actually, I'll do it right now. My address for a free Death Hag sticker is 1717 East Vista Chino, and that's Suite A7-619, Palm Springs, 92262. Another matchbook. What did I order this time? Oh, oh, wait. Golden bowl? Why did I get that? Huh. Something tells me this is wrong. Oh, it's Billingsley's. That's what it was. Billingsley's. Now, Barbara Billingsley opened that uh, from uh, Leave it to Beaver. And they're the, the only restaurant I've ever gone to that still had green goddess dressing. And it's on Pico. I don't know if they're still going to open after the uh, after this business ends but i liked it it's just a sunday afternoon after church steak joint billingsley's restaurant so that's an ebay purchase love that very cool now my friend marlene who sent me that cool uh pandemic doctor uh uh pin and i opened it the last time this came in it's sort of a mystery to me and uh, I'll have to be kind of careful opening it because I don't know if there's anything personal inside it as far as, like, uh, you know, any notes or something like that. I just want to be careful with it. So, no. Okay, so Marlene, which is some Ouija board mints, mystifying mints. Very cool. Very cool. We love mints. Oh, it's from Hasbro. Oh, they must own the Ouija thing. And the Mystic Oracle. Oh, neat. Oh, look at that. Oh, laughing. Oh, no. Stop it. How cool is that? Oh, look at 
Ruth Buzzy, Artie Johnson, Goldie, Lily. Well, sock it to me. Sock it to me? Look that up in your Funkin' Wagnalls. You bet your sweet Bippy. What is that? That doesn't say. Yeah, it does say you bet your sweet. And there's Ruth and there's Joanne Worley. Follow Ruth Buzzy on Instagram. Or she is hilarious. Or Twitter. And Orange Dracula. Thank you, Marlene. That's so nice. I, I love that. And what's this? Orange Dracula. Now, there is a note here. Uh, here are local goodies from Seattle. Our friends at Orange Dracula. The shop is just down the way from the Shoe Museum, which features an actual shoe worn by the world's tallest man, Robert Wadlow. Oh, that is another one of my bizarre obsessions is Robert Wadlow. Look at there's Rocky Horror. Ah, Marlene, that's so cool. That... That looks like the hearse I have tattooed on my leg. Like my second tattoo ever. That looks a lot like it. I guess I'll have to show it to you now. But I won't. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a still image and put it in there. Very cool. Well, greetings from Seattle. These are so cool. Thank you, Marlene. How nice of you. How nice of you. Marlene is, I, I mentioned this in the last video, my old Rocky Horror friend from the Punch and Judy back home in Detroit. And uh, we spent a lot of evenings together. She was magenta, and I was just a nameless Transylvanian. And I loved it, and it was just fantastic hanging out there. An important part of my youth. So thank you, Marlene. And it's funny, because I haven't seen, I haven't been in touch with Marlene in years and years and years, and now we're like buddies. I have an idea what that is, so I'm gonna save it for last. This is, there's cool things. This, I'm, I should be speeding things up, I guess. Oh, that's an interesting way to pack it. Look at that, Johnny Cash's funeral program. Honorary pallbearers. Willie Nelson, Chris Christopherson, Paul Bears, Randy Scruggs, Marty Stewart. Wow. Yeah, a lot of names I don't recognize, but there are a few in there that I do. Very cool. I got to see Johnny Cash once in concert at the Cubby Bear, which is this little bar across from Wrigley Field. I, this would have been early 90s before I moved to California. And he and June Carter and the Carter sisters did a tour of bars. And it was just the coolest thing. And I actually got to make eye contact with Johnny Cash when he was singing Ring of Fire. And that was so cool. I like Johnny Cash a lot, and his museum in Nashville is is great. I like that a lot. So that's eBay. So I don't have to thank anybody. I feel kind of bad about that early one. I, I was really really railing it. So sorry, so sorry, because I love those matchbooks. <laughs> now this is interesting because it's got a Susan Atkins and Lost in Space robot on it. So somebody who knows me. I'm not quite sure why that's. Susan Atkins and Shrimp Saucy. Saucy, I'm not quite sure. I don't get that joke. Well packaged. That's what she said. <laughs> I hope I'm not ripping something. Now, so I do kind of have to be a little bit careful here because I don't know. I don't want to give any personal information out to whoever sent this to me. Oh. Interesting. 
Oh, look at that. Freak show stuff. Now, oh, look at that. Now, there's got to be a note in here. You probably already have this. Hollywood Wax Museum. I don't. Spoony, I remember him. He was the guy that owned the Hollywood Wax Museum. Oh, they took that, that exhibit. has gone. The Haunted Last Supper. Wow. Oh, I thought that... <laughs> I thought that was B. Bennett Derrett. <laughs> Have you seen the wax statue of B. Bennett Derrett? <laughs> and Gandhi. Oh, my God. It's like they just ran out of coloring. Is that racist? It's not supposed to be. I have... There's got to be a... Oh, here we go. This is a note. It's a little... Um, hope you don't mind. I got your address from opening packages. Really want to love your channel. Wanted to see the zine that I used to do. I think you're only a few years ago because I mean, I'm born in 62. Either way, I wanted to thank you again for the infotainment you have provided. And even though I rarely send Patreon-type funds, you will get cool stuff for me in the mail from time to time. I'll read the rest of this later. But this is... Um, who sent it? The guys didn't sign it. I got a P.O. box. But he made this magazine... Snack Bar Confidential Pop Coated Zine. Wow, look at that. This is cool. Wow. The, the cream haters. This is neat. Black Yellow, I love that movie. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, I love that movie. MC5. Is that a Detroit thing? But they are Detroit. Carpenters with special guests Skiles and Henderson. This is neat. <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> this is cool. Wow. Charlotte's Web. Barbarella. I have to look on this thing because I know I think his name is on here. And it's got to be. It's Lance. Lance Lori. Thank you, Lance. I, uh, this is cool. I, I spent, so this is your art, which is really neat. This is like proper freak show stuff. Is that racist? Neat. Neat. I love this stuff. Look at that. Oh, dude, we gotta talk. These are cool. Lance. Look for Conga 5 on eBay. Wow. Look at that. This is really cool. And what's this? September 18th. Oh, he's got a, a flag mark here. <laughs> Do you know the history, the wonky history behind this show called Snip? Oh my God, David Brenner. Make sure it doesn't come off. And Leslie Ann Warren. No, I don't know this story. But I know there is one now, and I hope to hear about it. Comically back. Beverly split up with David because he was, he was, and still is, totally irresponsible. But he is obsessed with the idea of winning her back. Even though his rich, sexy, and beautiful customers keep throwing themselves at him. That's David Brenner. He was an animal. This is what, salad? How to make pop? Miracle Whip. Mmm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Strawberry salad pops. Hey, this is cool. Thank you, Lance. This is neat. I uh what the bell system. I can't tell the uh what the year is on this. Oh, 76, September 76. Look at that. I should do just a video going through this thing. Paul Lind, Kermit the Frog, of course. There he is. Oh, look, there's Ted, Ted Cassidy. We did him in the last video. Uh, Ted Cassidy's life mask. What? Fact cigarettes? Never heard of that one. That's surprising. I usually know my cigarette brands pretty well. The Rock Music Awards. Murder on Flight 502. <gasps> Need to see this. Jumbo Jet at 37,000. Unknown killer strikes again and again. All the greats, Polly Bergen, Hugh O'Brien, <laughs> Sonny Bono, Dane Clark, Elizabeth Stack and Robert Stack, and Rosemary Stack. Robert says, okay, I'll do it. 
<laughs> but <laughs> Lorraine Day, wow, this has got to be something to see. George Maharis and Danny Bonaducci. We're definitely going to check that out. Very cool. I love this. Thank you. Oh, right card. And it's not aerosol. Neat. Oh, neato, neato stuff. I can't wait to go through that more uh, more in depth. Thank you very much, Lance. I'll get, I'm going to read your, uh, your letter in a bit. Cool. Oh, oh, shit. There was something else in there. Lose. Um, distinctive Chinese cuisine. Matchbooks. Send for a want list if you like. Oh, he has more Los Angeles matchbooks. Rodeo Drive. Is that racist? I think it is. All right. And my friend Lawrence Varkalis. I always, I should just ask him because he sent me other things. I say, do you say Varkalis or Varkalis? But my buddy Lawrence, who has sent me some really cool things in the past, but he sent me some really cool things. We love vinyl. It's gonna be. Do not crush. What is this? The Thomas Road Baptist Church, Lynchburg, Virginia, was established June 21st, Christian Life Magazine. Oh, where are the dead? A comprehensive message delivered by Jerry Falwell which clearly answers the most puzzling question. The beautiful music is provided by Doug Oldham and the Old Time Gospel Hour Choir. Wow, thank you, Lawrence. Uh, let's see, oh, right, okay, I can say that because he mentioned it. He sent me that Jim Jones album, uh, which was like the, uh, it, was a, it was a sermon that Jim Jones had done, and, and also <laughs> an envelope, a Kool-Aid, Flavor Aid, grape Kool-Aid uh, packet, which was perfect to display at the shop. Actually, sorry, that was uh, that was his brother. That's what I thought. Okay, so Lawrence sent this to me, and his brother uh, sent me uh, the Jim Jones thing. But Lawrence has sent me some pretty cool stuff in the past, and I love this, and uh, and his brother as well. And you guys are great. This I can't wait to put this on, uh, put it on our our turntable. Oh, it's okay. Just to show you how weird it is, the, it, the, you get the record out in the top. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to open it because I don't want to mess up the vinyl, but uh, pretty cool. Where are the dead? Okay, Jerry. So thank you, Lawrence. Thank you very much. But I do know what this is. And uh, my buddy Richard Lamott sent this to me. And along with a few things, uh, aviation accident report, TWA flight. January 4, 1942. This is the accident report for Carol Lombard's crash in Mount Potosi, Nevada, which is uh, in Nevada. <laughs> and bizarrely, the uh, wreckage is still up there. You know, it is so hard to get to that they sort of left it up there and people go up there and Richard's been there a couple of times I haven't been up there yet but I plan to one day and uh in about 40 pounds and uh and want to go up there but you um, pieces of engine my buddy Warren Beef has been up there before my buddy Steve Goldstein has been up there before and uh, and Richard has gone out he actually did a live video uh called me from up there once which I was shocked that he could uh get um and he was also good friends with michu who was the little man who was uh the circus performer the littlest man in the world is that racist and uh and we have his ashes because uh, he wanted to be on display and we put him in the shop and i have him here with me until we reopen photos oh that's cool so this is a picture of the plane and there's carol Man, Richard, you really when you when you put stuff together, you really put it together well, because you you've given me some really that cool stuff from Air Force One. Wow, look at that! Look at that! I mean, if you go up there, there's stuff. Look at this. This is stuff that's just laying there. Wreckage still there, and here's oh, it's upside down, so you can see it's literally on the side of a mountain. And it's pretty treacherous. 
You have to be pretty fit to go up there. Neat. So, what treasures did Richard send for me? This. Oh, this is a rock from the Princess Grace accident site in Monaco. Monaco Road. And I'm going to do a video really soon involving Princess Grace. So that will be uh, a feature in the video. Thank you, Richard. This is cool. That will be a very, very cool thing. This is from, wow, this is from the Kobe Bryant crash site. Wow, I should put this against the white background so you can see it better. Yeah. Wow. Neat. And this, look at that. That is a piece of Carol Lombard's airplane. I'll take it out so we don't have to deal with the glare. Look at that. The rivets, everything. Rest in peace, Carol Lombard. You were doing good things for the country and, uh, and died doing good things. And hopefully you didn't know what was happening when it happened. But Carol Lombard's plane crash is uh, pretty epic, pretty fascinating Hollywood story. This is something else. So, man, thank you, Richard. This is, look at that. It's Kobe, Princess Grace. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you, Lance. Thank you, Marlene. God, you guys are so nice. Jordan, thanks for saying. Gary. Um, you guys are all so kind and so generous, and I still feel shitty about what I said. <laughs> I apologize. But, uh, and thank you, Bob. I mean, I, I, I forgive me if I don't think I'm forgetting anybody, but um, this is pretty neat stuff. You guys are awesome. I am so thrilled to have, you know, friends like you guys that, that send me things. <laughs> I need more friends. <laughs> I was really shocked to get all this stuff. So thanks a lot, you guys. This is uh, really neat. Lots of cool memories. Uh, more laughing stuff. No, I love it. And, uh, and I really appreciate it. And thank you. So um, I guess I will sign off. But uh, and I will, I'm going to do a deep dive into all this stuff and send out the Death Hag stickers. But you had the address to send away for a free Death Hag sticker, and uh, there it is again. Just make sure A7 and put a six one nine A seven six one nine on it, and uh, you will get a free Death Hag sticker. And uh, but make sure to send an envelope with postage on it. So thanks, and until next time, take care, you guys. Uh, yeah, take care. Bye. Where are the dead? I conduct funeral services almost daily. Very often, they're not old people, but sometimes young people. Death is that common denominator which equates all men, the rich, the poor, the educated, the illiterate. There's no difference. It's appointed to man once to die and after death, the judgment. I'd like to talk with you today on what death really is. You heard me.